All right, so we are going to do the impossible, and that is, I'm going to attempt to play through both runs, the first run and the second run, 100% completion of uh, Ghost and Goblins here for the NES. This might be a bit of a challenge, and I know you might be thinking, you might be thinking, but this is impossible. Nobody can play through the first and second run of Ghosts and Goblins, this is the hardest game in the entire universe. Well, you know what? I've been thinking the same thing. But, let me let you in on a little secret. I've done this before, but I mean, only once. So, let's see if Lady Luck is on my side. This might take a long time. Oh, so, we just got ourselves a little knife. Should I explain what this game's about? I don't know. A lot of people I feel like would already know what this game's about. But anyway, I'm this little man. And, uh, just basically gotta get to the end of every screen, but the thing is you only get two hits and that's it. One hit gets rid of your armor and you run around in your little red undies, and the second hit will kill you. And, uh, as you saw I just picked up a different weapon. This weapon being the knife, which is pretty much the best weapon in the game. You could shoot it pretty fast, a lot faster than the other one, so you can take out enemies a lot quicker. Each level only has one checkpoint, which I believe I have, like, just reached, like, right now in this level. Uh... And then, so now if I die, I'll start here instead of stuff in the beginning of the level, but other than that, there's no other real, uh, things that help you out in this game that make this game any easier. It's a nightmare, I tell you. But I mean, enough talk. Let's just sit back, you know. I've decided I'm not very good at talking, so, uh, my idea for this Let's Play is, you know, I'm just gonna, like, chill out and, and play the game, you know, and if I have something to say, I'll say it, and if I don't, you know, I won't say anything. So uh, there you go. I just killed the first boss. Pretty lucky. You got the key. You put on your nice little outfit and go to the door. That was the first try run of level one. I feel like I'm getting lucky. But uh, anyway, off to level two. There's six levels, and uh, well, that's a good way to start level two. Is to run right into the water. <sighs> but you know, I'm doing this because. It's a good old January day here, and it's two feet of snow outside, and it's like, what else am I going to do other than play Ghosts and Goblins? Am I right or am I right? Don't answer that question, because I already know the answer, because I only gave you one option, and that was me being right. So I make this little leap right here, and then bam, and then now we're onto the wall, which this will actually already bring us to the first checkpoint, which I don't really like, because the checkpoint in this level is very early in the stage, which means... When you start from here, it doesn't really give you much of an advantage starting from here. Because you're still starting from pretty far back. Alright, these guys are a nightmare. Ugh, okay. <laughs> well, um, I died again. And then you get to watch this every single time you die. So, how do you like that? Anyway, what I was saying about these guys, these fat guys, um, you can't really get up on their level with them, up on that, like, up there, because as soon as you're in their field of view, they'll start charging at you, so you gotta have a safe, safe distance before you get up there with them, and then just, like, tap B as fast as you can, and also if you stand, like, under them, they'll just stop and look down at you like that, and, uh, I might be in for a surprise right now, alright, there we go. Uh, I could be doing a lot worse, so... You guys are lucky you're getting the abridged version right now of what would usually be me dying a thousand times. Whoa. Alright, alright. Oh, we got two of them up there now. Alright, he's going the other way, so... Oh god, the other one's coming. You gotta time these guys, like, just right, because... You don't wanna get... If you get stuck in between the middle of two of them, you're, you're as good as dead, man. It's, it's game over from there. Oh, goodness me. Don't go up that ladder, because if you go up that ladder, as soon as you get to the top, it'll spawn a weapon that'll appear right here, right where I am, and it'll be a fireball thing, and the fire is not a weapon that you want. Also, I forgot to kill this guy while I was down there on the other side, so now I'm, like, stuck with this guy over here, and it's actually not a good thing, because I can't get down here now. Oh, God. And, oh, yeah, and there's also a time limit, and they don't really give you that much extra time. So, I only have one minute to get to the end of this stage, which I mean... Oh, that was that was very skillful right there. I don't know. Only a true ghost and gobliner could appreciate that, that skill I just showed right there. 
which is that there was a bird coming from the other way while I was killing the guy on one side of me, and I did a quick turnaround mid-throw and killed the little bird. Because here's the thing. If you, uh, for any reason, stop throwing your knives while you're, while you're shooting one of those fat guys, they will shoot off one of their little glooby globs at you, and you will be a dead man. And uh, I'm actually, it's not looking too good for me right now, because I have 26 seconds left to beat this stage. And I'm not happy about that, because I'm actually, like, really close to beating the level, and I'm going to lose just because I have... Uh, and then we get this dreadful music, which means you're about to die. Well, we got to the end of the level. Look at this. With two seconds to spare, we died. I, I probably would have made it, but... The game just didn't want to give me enough time. Like, as you could see, I mean, I didn't really, like, dick around too much. I mean, it's not like I wasted a lot of time, and I still ran out of time. Usually games will give you, like, like Sonic the Hedgehog, they give you ten minutes to beat those levels, when you can beat those levels in, like, three minutes. So if you use the time limit, you obviously were, like, not using your time too wisely. But, I mean, in this game... You actually gotta like beat it fast. You gotta run through this. You gotta it speed runs all day. Alright, so this time I gotta remember to kill this guy over here. This is the guy I forgot to kill last time, which he's probably the reason I got a time over. Because uh Yeah. Because I was over there waiting for him to come around the whole time, so I had time to go down. I'm trying to get this guy to come over here on the right, but he's not coming, so I'm gonna get rid of the guy on the left first. Come on, I'm gonna get a time over again if this guy won't come over. Alright, there we go, I got him. Alright, so he's done. So now all we gotta do is worry about getting to the other side, which is no problem. These guys take 10 hits with the knife, I believe. The thing. Alright, so I mentioned before, before, before that fire falls down over there, and you don't wanna pick that up. The fire is a much more powerful weapon, it'll kill those fat guys in like, like 5 or so hits or whatever, but it's weird, it like arcs weird and. I don't know, it's not a good weapon to have. But there's one point of the game in which you need to pick it up, so how about that? The game knows... Oh, that's wonderful. Now that also happened. The game knows that it's awful, so it makes you have to pick it up once, just so you'll get to see how awful it is. And the thing about having a weapon in this game is once you pick up a weapon, you have that weapon forever, until you find another one. So, oh, isn't that a good way to start off? Just getting hit by the bird? You know, this playthrough is already going well. And, uh... I would have already actually been done and out of this level by now if I didn't get a stupid time over from the last run. I would have been that would have been a first try, first two levels, but God wouldn't be that nice to me today and let me beat the first two levels of Ghosts and Goblins. The Ghosts and Goblins God. Hey, hey. Uh, come on, don't do this to me again. Alright, there we go, we got him. Oh god, and the bird, now we get the guy on the left. Okay. So I'm just gonna wait for this fat so to get, walk out of here. Get out of here. Oh, 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 we're in a world of pain! Oh, that was the world of pain right there. That was. That was the house of pain. Alright, well, we're gonna try this once more. I'm saying, I'm saying this time is it. This is gonna be the one. This is the time I do it right here, ladies and gentlemen. I get a full concentration. Alright, so now I'm gonna go up here. I'm telling you, this is it. This is the time. Get out of here, bird. The birds are trying to mess with me. So you don't need to kill this guy on the left. If he doesn't spawn, then you could just kind of run up there. But he spawned, of course. Alright, get out of here. I don't want to have to kill the guy over there. Alright. So we escaped the guys on the left. I think we're doing pretty well right now. Look at that. We only got only a minute and 40 to do this nonsense. And I'm like, I'm trucking through it. I'm a trucker. A real trucker, you see. Alright, so I'm going to get this red bird that always comes right at you right there. Oh god, I was itching my arm and a blue bird came at me. That was very scary. That was... Oh, I missed. 
Oh, almost jumped right in between. In between both of them right there. Alright, so now that you gotta do this red bird, which... I don't like the red birds, because they come at you at an angle, and then... You always feel like they're gonna get you, and then sometimes they do get you, and then that's... It's bad news. For yourself. Alright, so I got... I got like two minutes left, I got more than enough time. So hopefully these, like, fat guys will, will be, like, in a good pattern. Because last time I happened to get lucky, but sometimes they'll just, like, charge you. And what do you do when they charge you? I mean, I don't really know what to do when they when they do that. So anyway, same boss as the last level, except now, for some reason, you just have to kill two of them. Alright, come on. We got this. Just don't charge at me! Alright, so we got him. Maybe, you know, maybe I'll cut this part now and I'll uh we'll do it next time you know what I'm saying part two baby so I got the key I'm gonna go through the door and uh, I'll see you guys in the next level